Hey everyone, welcome back to my humble little studio. I am the Kilted Blacksmith, and today I'm going to be working on my short spear. So, as you saw in, probably in the previous episode of me forging this out, I am ready to grind. So, I have forged in the bevels. You can see that the um, <clears throat> the handle is nice and flat, fairly true. I just need to do some profile grinding and the edge grinding, and that's all for grinding. However, I'm going to do something a little bit special with the handle. So this is obviously the handle. I'm not going to put a shaft on it to be an actual spear. This is a short spear, again, patterned after the uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey short spear Leonidas spear. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to sandwich two pieces of brass between the handle, kind of like that. So it'll be a, a brass handle, basically. Sandwich brass. That's the plan uh, today. I'm not sure how far I'm gonna get on the uh, handle scales, but we'll see how this goes. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so what I'm using is a Combat Agri Abrasives 24 grit uh, shredder belt. This is actually the first time I'll ever use one of these belts. I just got a few at Blade Show and I'm testing them out. So let's see how I like it. I think I will like this. It'll probably go a lot faster than my 36 grit, which already went fast. Um, so let's see how this goes. Personal protection, glasses, respirator. The stuff doesn't, the lungs do not like this grinding stuff. So, been rough ground. I'm going to drill the holes for the brass pieces um, and maybe do a little bit more extra drilling to get, keep some weight off the back because balance points about there. Right there. Okay. So that's the balance point. And uh, I would like to be able to use this for throwing, so you want the balance to be forward and like a spear. At least that's how I think it should be. If I'm incorrect, uh, let me know in the comments, please. So uh, let's do this. All right, so here we go. So we have the holes drilled, three holes for the scales, and I also drilled several larger holes for weight removal and also balance. So that put the ba puts a balance point about right there, and so that'll be better for throwing. I tested this out and threw it against a tree, and even just tossing it, it just stuck like stuck like glue. It's an incredible. So what I'm going to do now is take my scale piece, Let's see. bring 
bring it up about there, make it centered, take my pen, and try to mark center. Here we go, in the center. There we go. So, marks have been made on the brass piece, and I'm gonna go drill this out real quick, and be right back. All right, so the scales have been temporarily attached. I have some pins. They're the pins that I'll use for the finished piece. Those are installed. The next step will be heat treating. Um, I might actually, since I don't have a quench tank big enough, and I don't think my forge is big enough to do this, I'll have to do it at the studio. Um, I'll probably just grind down the scales since they're, well, too big. You can see, too big. So, <clears throat> grind those down, heat treat, and then some final finishing, and I'll be done with this project. Yay! Uh, so, yep, yeah, that's what I got so far, and I'll start grinding. So, focus on me, there we go. The, uh, I forgot that brass heats up really fast. <laughs> so I attached some vice grips and I'm getting closer to the steel, touching it a little bit. So that side I think is kind of done. It's still hot <laughs> some places. Um, so yeah, there we go. It looks really terrible. So focus. Not on me. On that. Okay. You can see I'm using a 36 grit Norton Blaze belt. Just ripping it up. Which is kind of what it's supposed to do anyway. But Yeah. See so ya. Yeah, grinder works. <laughs> let's, let's cool this down. Alrighty. So both sides have been ground. About flush. I think I'll leave it right there for now. Also took some of the rag off. Just the little pieces of brass. They were just holding on for dear life. <laughs> As I ripped it away from its parent stock. Um, so there we go. Next step is heat treating. So I think I'm going to end the video right there. And this will actually be a three-part uh, video. Uh, three-part series, I should say. So, got the, uh, the gr rough grinding and handle profiling and uh, heat treating will be the, and finishing will be the next video. So, on that note, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Shalom. Bye.